Good morning, everyone. I'm here at the Los Angeles Convention Center here in downtown Los Angeles. I decided to come here today because I wanted to check out the travel and adventure show that's happening here. My friend Elaine was able to spot me some free tickets to this show and unfortunately I won't be able to come here with her tomorrow so I decided to come here today. I wanted to check it out because I had a good time at the Fet Expo with April and Elaine and I thought why not see what they have in store for today and so I just want to show you guys around. It was very recent when I last came to the LA Convention Center, so this time it was easier for me to navigate around the building. As soon as I walked in, I saw signs of the travel and adventure show, which eventually led me to the long but fast moving lines to the ticket counter. As soon as they scanned my online ticket, I grabbed my travel guide and quickly went up the escalators to see what they had in store. Although many of the attendees at the Travel and Adventure Show seemed older and perhaps closer to retirement age, I did see other people who were just pumped up about traveling and seeing the world like me. My first impression of the LA Travel and Adventure Show was as if I was entering a room full of members of the United Nations. Immediately I saw large banners hanging from the ceiling of countries like this one of Japan, and exhibitors travel from literally all over the world to showcase their destinations like this Japanese couple in their traditional attire. There were a ton of destinations and travel companies exhibiting at the show, literally from all over the world. The Imagine Your Korea booth was making bongbang, a fish-shaped bread filled with red bean filling, and there was also an indigenous Fijian man who was promoting the island of Fiji, and there were also stages filled with performances like the hula dance. Here you can meet one-on-one -on -one with travel experts who will help you find and plan and book your next vacation. And it's an incredible way to find new destinations and new reasons to visit places. Here you can explore thousands of vacation options to top destinations from around the globe, like this island in Honduras called Rotan, a destination where I've never heard of it before. Even though I've never thought of going there, I thought maybe perhaps someday. Even Barbados. Heard of the country, but did I ever have this desire to go there? Not until now. Some of the larger installations also included Guatemala and Brazil, which had eye-popping stalls with great visuals. Surprisingly, they also had presentations where speakers would talk about tips and tricks on the travel industry. And as I continued to walk around, to my surprise, there were other booths that also had parts of the U.S. like South Dakota and even places here in California, such as my favorites, Sequoia National Park, as well as Yosemite National Park, a place that I just visited last year for the very first time. I highly recommend it if you haven't been there yet. I was surprised to also see that there were actual products like luggages that were being sold at the show, and I also noticed that they had a unique company that I was particularly interested in called Go Camp, which is a seamless way of traveling in a rental van or RV. It was a way to connect the avid traveler and do a road trip to their next destination. I'll admit this expo opened my eyes and brought a different perspective of traveling. And what I loved about this is that it's not only in the excitement of planning future travels that made it so exciting, but the fact that the thousands of like-minded travelers are so darn happy for what's to come in their future. Not only will you get to discover new places to visit, you'll also save money on your vacations. Exhibitors offer discounts and there are tons of giveaways which most people are seeking as well. Although I'm personally not ready to commit to a trip this year, I now have a few ideas as to where I would like to go and also know where to turn to for my future travels. I hope you guys enjoyed my time here at the LA Travel and Adventure Show and I want to thank you guys all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!